Hey there, folks. In this chapter, we catch up with Lu Sheng as he steps out of his room, eager to test his progress. First stop? The gravity room. Then, without skipping a beat, he heads straight to the footwork training room. He couldn't care less about the whispers and stares from onlookers, all he's focused on is getting stronger to shape the future. If you've missed any previous chapters, the link is in the description below. Be sure to catch up. Alright folks, let's set our sights high today, our goal is 500 likes. Hit that like button and subscribe right now. Everyone stood shocked and mesmerized, unable to comprehend what was unfolding before their eyes. Lu Sheng activated the natural breathing method, boosting his combat power to 120% in any environment. Wanting to push his limits further, Lu Sheng increased the gravity of the chamber. Onlookers were astounded, thinking he had reached five times the gravitational force and was about to give up. However, they were shocked when Lu Sheng increased the gravity even more. In the command shifted to the gravity chamber, where someone was breaking a record. They anticipated Cao Yang achieving four times gravitational force but were stunned to see Lu Sheng practicing at eight times gravitational force. Dong Quangxu's shock was evident as she dropped the glass in her hand, her expression becoming increasingly strange as she looked at the screen. Despite this, Dong Quangxu smiled confidently, stating that Lu Sheng's return was a positive development. Lu Sheng pondered silently, realizing that the multi-gravity environment wasn't about actual combat but rather tested the warrior's blood, physique, and willpower. He decided to test his new technique, Divine Illumination, which created an invisible shield around his heart, boosting his vitality by 10% and allowing him to withstand higher levels of gravity more effectively. As Lu Sheng stretched his body under the gravitational force, he felt his mental power slowly depleting, knowing that the boost would only last until his stamina ran out. Lu Sheng bravely turned the gravity to 10 times its normal strength, shocking bystanders who questioned his sanity. The pressure was so intense that even those outside the chamber felt it, causing them to kneel and cracking the thick glass. Inside, Lu Sheng struggled to stand and fell to the ground, feeling the terrifying pressure on every bone in his body. His blood vessels started clotting, and it took all his strength just to stay conscious under ten times gravity, a challenge beyond his usual limits. But driven by his determination to change the future, Lu Sheng knew he had to push himself beyond what seemed possible. Slowly, he rose from his hands and knees, ignoring the intense pressure forcing everyone else to the ground. With sheer willpower, he switched off the machine and left, oblivious to the crowd around him. He spent booking the room for three hours. Receiving a notification, he discovered he'd earned around 4,000 points for breaking the gravitational room record. Bystanders were shocked, knowing how hard it is to earn points, especially with the increasing difficulty of buying meat. Despite this, he felt satisfied with the result and was ready for the next challenge. He walked through the crowd, ignoring them completely. Yang Yan felt Lu Sheng's dominating presence, realizing he stood above all, feeling like a tiger among sheep. A friend remarked that Lu Sheng was a strength type, which shocked him. How could he break the gravitational record of Chao, who was a defense type? Yang Yang was surprised too, she expected him to go to his dorm, but instead, he headed to the footwork and moments training room where Meng Jinha from Donggong City had just completed his training. The training session ended, and the completion rate for the second stage reached 87%. A cheerful notification echoed, bringing a smile to Meng Jinha's face as he paused his movements. He had made a 6% progress during this session. Transcendence was a unique feature of the footwork training room. Meng Jinha anticipated uploading his progress to the Martial League Terminal to determine his world ranking in agility. With 87% completion in the second stage of body training, Meng Jinha had surpassed over half of the warriors worldwide. He felt a surge of accomplishment and satisfaction as he exited the training room. Expecting praise and admiration from those outside, Meng Jinha was surprised to find the area empty. The usual crowd had vanished. Perplexed, he wondered, what happened? Meng Jinha was a little puzzled. Meng Jinha pulled back a boy wearing a dark hoodie. He smiled and glanced at the display screen outside the training room, saying, Today's going well and I've made a lot of progress. Wanting to mention that he had completed 87% of his training, Meng Jinha was ignored by the boy, who hurriedly said, Since you're done, come over here quickly. Feeling frozen in place, Meng Jinha didn't know how to respond. He watched as the boy walked away and noticed a large group of people gathered nearby. They were by a footwork training room, separated from Meng Jinha by four or five other training rooms, and the area was bustling with activity. Meng Jinha wondered aloud, Could someone be trying to break my record? A nearby person quickly replied, Is it Lu Sheng? The one from Baihei City? Momentarily stunned, Meng Jinha smiled and retorted, You don't really think Lu Sheng can break my record, do you? That's crazy. Receiving a strange look from the person who answered him, Meng Jinha felt puzzled. 
Lu Sheng, after grasping the rules, activated the machine. Almost instantly, red laser beams shot out from the wall towards him. So, I just need to dodge these beams, right? Lu Sheng adjusted his body slightly, skillfully avoiding the passing red lines. As he looked around, Lu Sheng noticed numerous small holes covering the walls of the training room. It seemed each hole could emit light, adding to the challenge of agility training. But predicting the direction of the light isn't a challenge for me, Lu Sheng mused. With his immense mental strength, he could sense the movement of every laser probe, anticipating the path of each beam before it even emerged. It felt almost like cheating. Standing in the room center, Lu Sheng calmly moved his body, effortlessly dodging the incoming beams. He seemed relaxed, as if he were simply doing morning exercises in a park rather than undergoing rigorous training. Outside the training room, a group of observers exchanged bewildered glances. They looked at each other and saw the profound shock reflected in their eyes. It was incredibly astonishing. How did he manage that? Someone couldn't help but ask. No one had an answer. Even Meng Jinhe, who always boasted about his physical prowess and confidence, stood dumbfounded. Entering the footwork training room, anyone would be on edge, trembling, and highly nervous. The room was filled with tens of thousands of laser probes, and no one knew which ones would emit light next. A slight touch from the light meant failure, halting the training immediately and moving to the next stage. Are you sure it's his first time in the footwork training room? Meng Jin had questioned the boys around him incredulously. One of them nodded with a complex expression, confirming, yes, we all went in together. Meng Jin had fell silent, his mind filled with doubt as he watched the figure calmly moving in the room under the mysterious lights. Just then, someone remarked, the first stage is nearly complete. Before their words could sink in, a beep sounded, and words appeared on the small display outside the room, indicating readiness to enter the second stage of training. The group remained silent. Chen Xiaojin watched Lu Sheng on the monitor, amazed at his agility training skills. How did this kid do it? Is this really his first time? He wondered aloud. It's like he's done it hundreds of times before. Dong Quangshu also observed the screen, occasionally glancing up. She had a suspicion about Lu Sheng's behavior but dismissed it quickly. He must have excellent battle intuition, she remarked. His combat skills are impressive, and his instincts are sharp. Chen Xiaojin nodded in agreement. His fighting instinct is remarkable. Curious, Dong Quangshu wanted to test Lu Sheng's psychic energy again, but Chen Xiaojin interrupted her, causing her to withdraw her power. She pondered why she felt the need to test him again when she had already done so once and confirmed his psychic abilities. Lu Sheng was already at 62% completion of the level 2 foot movement exercise, impressing onlookers with his rapid progress. Dong Quangshu remarked on his excellent reflexes and physical control, noting how effortlessly he transitioned to level 2. She was curious to see how far he could push himself. As level 2 concluded, level 3 presented a greater challenge. Multiple balls were hurled at Lu Sheng from all directions, while laser barriers obstructed his path. Despite the difficulty, Lu Sheng focused on dodging the obstacles, impressing Dong Quangshu with his agility. Even seasoned warriors at ranks 4 and 5 hadn't displayed such skill on the battlefield. Dong Quangshu admitted she had only managed to complete 25% of level 2. Meanwhile, Lu Sheng concentrated on evading the lasers, struggling to keep up. Eventually, he activated the Breath of Wind technique, seemingly vanishing from view. He moved so quickly that they couldn't see Lu Sheng with their eyes. In just a few minutes, he completed level 3. Dong Quangshu decided to call it a day, impressed that Lu Sheng finished the 10x gravity chamber and level 3 footwork. However, Lu Sheng wasn't done yet. He wanted to try level 4 foot movement. Chen Xiaojin was shocked, wondering why Lu Sheng, I, who had trained for so many years, was just starting level 4. The mechanical disc created barriers, limiting his movement. Lu Sheng had already completed 30% of the fourth stage, knowing he had reached maximum speed with the breath of wind technique. He activated divine illumination, increasing his perception and awareness. It felt like time had stopped, and Lu Sheng could move freely, dodging effortlessly. This energy transformation was rare, achievable only by top psychic mentalists. Dong Quangshu was shocked when the glass door broke, revealing Lu Sheng's psychic abilities. She attacked him to test his skills, unaware he was already in the footwork training room. Lu Sheng swiftly pushed her away, surprising Dong Quangshu with his power. She realized Lu Sheng was a formidable psychic mentalist, possibly even more powerful than her. Lu Sheng, however, knew his limits. His psychic energy drained, and he decided to quit halfway through level 4. 
He let himself be hit by the light, showing he had completed 56% of level 4 and was now faster than 97% of martial artists. Dong Quangshu was shocked, while Ming Jinghe couldn't believe how easily Lu Sheng surpassed his score. Lu Sheng, unfazed by his surroundings, pondered the 3% of people stronger than him in footwork. Congratulating Lu Sheng on his record-breaking feats in both the gravitational room and the psychic training room, Dong Quangshu inquired about his plans. Did he want to continue in the psychic training room? Done for the day, Lu Sheng's only desire was to eat delicious food. Heading towards the cafeteria once more shocked Dong Quangshu. It was the second time she received an unexpected answer from Lu Sheng last time he went to sleep, and now he wanted to eat. Summoned to the command center to meet Dong Quangshu, Lu Sheng's blood level and vitality piqued their curiosity. Chen Xiaojin offered a normal syringe for blood testing, but Lu Sheng explained he couldn't pierce his skin with it. So, Dong Quangshu retrieved the golden blood collecting needle she kept close to her bosom. Dong Quangshu and Chen Xiaojin watched as the display screen showed a value of 123.651. Chen Xiaojin sighed, remarking that he hadn't seen such a young third level warrior in nearly a decade. Dong Quangshu's eyes held a hint of surprise, though her expression remained composed. She suggested testing Lu Sheng's combat power. Lu Sheng confidently approached the equipment for testing combat power, his eyes ablaze with determination. With a deep breath, he activated his technique, Breath of Flame, causing his chest to feel like it was on fire. A loud boom echoed as the screen displayed a value of 271,920. Chen Xiaojin was stunned by the score, recalling how Lu Sheng had reached the combat power of a fifth-level martial artist. He praised Lu Sheng as a remarkable talent, congratulating him on graduating from the training camp and granting him the freedom to pursue his own path. But Dong Quangshu wanted to try something else. She brought out an instrument and explained, this is a tool developed by the Psychiatrists' Association for testing spiritual strength professionally. Dong Quangshu gently placed her hand on a raised light yellow hexagonal crystal in the instrument. This is called an energy crystal. It's a special crystal or discovered in the Ansterla Canyon of the Lion Country over a hundred years ago. It has a strong affinity for spiritual power and was later developed to test the spiritual power of a psychiatrist. It measures the strength during the test by concentrating and pouring part of your mental power into it. The cube displayed a psychic power of 143.2, with a psychic energy purity index of 4.2. Chen Xiaojin was proud as it showed improvement from the last test by a whole point. She then handed the cube to Lu Sheng, saying, If you claim that Lu Sheng has half your strength, I'll believe it, not weaker than you. I really can accept it. Quiet. Dong Quangshu shot Chen Xiaojin a stern look, silencing his murmurs. She coldly instructed, don't disrupt the test. Meanwhile, Lu Sheng followed Dong Quangshu's guidance, infusing mental power into the light yellow crystal in his hand. The crystal emitted a soft, fluorescent glow, devoid of any warmth. Despite its coldness, it felt as though Lu Sheng held an unmeltable icicle. Shortly after, two values appeared on the instrument, prompting Dong Quangshu and Chen Xiaojin to glance up in anticipation. Their expressions instantly turned incredulous, as if they had witnessed a miracle. What's happening? Dong Quangshu exclaimed, unable to contain her shock. Fixated on the numerical values, Dong Quangshu's widened eyes betrayed her disbelief. Mental strength, 113.560 read the first value, confirming her prior observations of Lu Sheng's formidable spiritual prowess. However, it was the second value that truly astonished her. Mental purity, 20.3. This revelation left Dong Quangshu dumbfounded. Lu Sheng's mental purity surpassed hers by fivefold. The implications were staggering. To match his purity, Dong Quangshu would need to compress and refine her mental power five times over. But was such a feat even possible? With this, the chapter concludes. Don't miss out on the next installment. Hit that subscribe button and join us for the continuation of Lu Sheng's remarkable story.